Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck. So there's this saying I came up with when it comes down to Italians and Jews. Same behavior, different savior. I mean, I think that suits him pretty fine. There are people who come up to me and they say, are you Jewish or are you Italian? And I want to be like, did you see my schnoz? I'm Jewish. So this Jewish boy loves Italian food, loves it. So I decided to make an Italian classic that's just so delicious, so easy, so simple, so fantastic, so mushroomy. If you love mushrooms, you're gonna love this one and you probably already know what it is and he's no introduction. We're talking chicken marsala in just minutes. Let's go guys, chicken marsala. So we want to start with about a pound and a half to two pounds of chicken breasts that are skinless and boneless. And and we're gonna do this to them. And then we're gonna slice each breast in half so that we have like nice thin cutlets. Not super thin, but thin enough, about this thick. And if they're a little thick still, just pound them a little thin with a mallet. We want one shallot, which is basically like a small oblong onion, diced up just like that. Now I'm taking about a cup or so of all-purpose flour, and to that I'm gonna add a few shakes of some coarse ground pepper, some garlic powder, and some kosher salt, and just add that to it and then mix it up. There we go, and just mix it all together because this is gonna be our flour to coat our chicken. And now, in an assembly line fashion, I'm gonna take each slice of chicken and I'm going to dredge it inside the flour mixture and just coat that piece of chicken so it's nice and coated and dusted with the flour, and then just set aside onto another plate, just like that, and do that with all the pieces. And there we go, all nice and dredged, and we actually have plenty of flour left, so you can probably just use like a half a cup and just discard the rest of this since, you know, like raw chicken touched it. Now going over to our Instant Pot, we want to hit the saute function and make sure it's on the more setting right there. And uh, just let it until that reads hot and we're going to add our oil and some butter. And now that it reads hot, I'm going to add one quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, or Evu. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. And swirl around the butter a little bit and get it nice and mixed up with the oil. Very good. And once that happens and it's completely melted, we're going to add our chicken. All right, now in batches, let's add our chicken to this, and we're going to cook it for about two minutes on each side. And then when it looks like this on the bottom, just like that, we're gonna give it a nice flip. We don't want it to be too browned yet, just like that. And then flip it over, about one to two minutes on each side. And then take the chicken out, perfect. And then we're gonna put that on a plate, and then just continue it so the chicken is done in all of the batches, and then just finish it out. And all of our chicken should be about this complexion when we take it out of there. And not super brown, but just slightly so, because we're going to add it back to the pot and cook it on pressure when it's all ready. Now that I've taken all the chicken out of the pot, I'm going to add another tablespoon of butter and let it melt. And you can sort of deglaze the bottom of the pan by switching the butter around. Now to this, we're going to add our shallots, one tablespoon of crushed garlic, and already this looks amazing and smells insane. And finally, two four ounce or one eight ounce pack of mushrooms. I'm using cremini, shiitake, and oyster medley here, but you can just use cremini or even porcini. You don't use like regular salad mushrooms, but get this kind if you can get this. And you can use salad mushrooms if you can't find any of the others, like the cremini or the uh, porcini, but you can use them, but try not to. If you can find the other ones, use the other ones. Just, you know, don't use other mushrooms that might make you start tripping or something crazy. And let's add those in there and stir them up and also saute for about a couple more minutes, about two to three. And make sure you really mix those mushrooms up well and get all the oil coated into them. It'll basically absorb all of that. Okay, now that that's all mixed up and ready to go, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of a marsala cooking wine, or a sweet marsala wine, and a half a cup of a uh, chicken broth or a chicken base, which is a half of a teaspoon of a chicken base mixed with a half a cup of water. And give it all a nice good stir. And then we're going to add our chicken. So here we go. The chicken goes right to the mushrooms. There we go. And let's get the lid on top. And we're gonna go to ceiling position. We're gonna hit the cancel keep warm to change functions and go to manual. And now I'm gonna go all the way down to just eight minutes and we're gonna leave that on high pressure. While that's cooking, we're gonna add our cornstarch slurry. We're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and one and a half tablespoons of water. And then mix it all together so it forms a slurry. Now that that's all done, we're gonna do a quick release. And our pin just dropped, it only took three minutes. And we'll take the lid off. Ooh, okay. Okay, it smells insane. So let's just take each piece of chicken and just put that in a serving dish right now. Already, it's gorgeous. 
And now that our chicken's all transported, let's go back to our pot, hit cancel, and let's hit the saute function and leave it on more. And then we're immediately going to add our cornstarch to it to thicken the sauce. And then just give that all a real good, nice stir. And we're gonna leave that in there for about like, two or three minutes until it starts to bubble like this for a little bit. And the sauce gets nice and thick and rich. Oh my God, guys, it smells amazing. <laughs> And when it starts to look as thick as this and bubbles like that, it's done. So hit that cancel button and uh, we're gonna now spoon this delicious sauce. My god, does it smell good. I can't stop raving about it onto our chicken. So here we go. Let's just take that and then just lay it on top of all of our chicken. Get it nice and coated. And look at all that amazing marsala mushroom sauce. And oh man, let's plate some of this up. Let's go for it, guys. Could always use a little trip to Italy. I don't even need a knife, by the way. This is so tender, the way it cuts right in. And all this amazing, delicious sauce. Mmm! Mm. Just get out of here already. Just get out of here already. I can't even... If you love Marsala, if you love mushrooms, if you love chicken, you're gonna go to this one forever. Serve it with over some pasta, with some of that basil pesto risotto or any risotto, over some rice, or just have it how it is exactly. It's perfect, it can't go wrong. It's an absolutely superb, delicious, delicious dish. You guys are gonna love it, so crazy easy. And man, it's a good time to be alive right now. And the sauce, mm, the sauce in itself is like, a feast for the senses. It's beautiful to look at. It's delicious to, to taste. It's wonderful to hear sizzle while it's cooking. It's just a fabulous sauce. You're not gonna go wrong with it, guys. For more recipes like these, man, oh man, oh man, that are easy, quick, delicious, and just awesome, go to Pressure Luck Cooking at Facebook. That's facebook.com backslash Pressure Luck Cooking. And I'm not gonna steer you wrong. I'm only gonna share recipes that you're gonna love, that are convenient, that are accessible with the ingredients, that won't break the bank, but will make your stomach and your soul say, I love you so much. Thank you for feeding me. Mm.